and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is a very funny comedian and actor. Please welcome Boston's own Stephen Wright. She was a red-headed girl with long black hair So, uh, Stephen. Yeah. Thanks. That was a nice song, Thanks. first of all. That was a great song. That one. Thank you very was, much. Was really nice. It, yeah, it, it was, was a little. It was a little short, but. Well, you know, I have like three versions of that song. Uh -huh. There's one of them is much shorter than that one. <laughs> and then there's a 75-minute version. Uh -huh. And I thought, this situation, I should go with that. You know, I that think it worked way. very well. Thank you. It was very pretty. It's very touching, very, very emotional. I don't know if you can, I'm almost weeping. You're almost weeping yes. right now? Yes. I can tell. Yeah. Your, your raw emotion is filling me with emotion. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> Kind of frightening, isn't it? Did you yeah. uh, did you actually study music? Or you, I don't you... really know. I, <laughs> I've been playing for years, but I I don't. I studied briefly in, at the Berkeley School of Music in Boston, Massachusetts, and um, <laughs> okay. for about two uh -huh. years uh -huh. uh, under the uh, Dr. Philip Philipson. Oh. Have you ever heard of him? No, never heard of him. I, I know that, that name. I, I didn't hear of him. You do know? Or you, you know? No, no, I would have yeah, known. I, I, I wouldn't I, think that you would know that. Not anything about you. Being a stupid moron. No, or no. No. No, and he had this weird way. He was a very strange man. He had taught music as if, like, to sculpt. Like, you know, when you sculpt, you take away stuff until you get what you want. You chip away, chip away. So that's what he said to do with music. If you're gonna write a piece of music, you first you had to write all the notes that you weren't gonna use. So, and which took hours and weeks and weeks. Uh -huh. and just, you know, uh -huh. on and on and on and on. Like, that was actually my thesis, and that was... Really? It took me 17 months to write that. So. Uh-huh. And you gradually pulling everything yeah, away. Pulling and... away, pulling away, pulling away, and... Uh, um, years. <laughs> I'm just curious, something. where did you, where did you go right I there? I'm Miami. just curious. Miami, why didn't you take us with you? <laughs> uh, years later, someone asked him, why don't you just write the music rather than this? And he just looked at the person and he shot himself. <laughs> <laughs> and, which I took as like, he was even doing that. That was, he was removing himself from the teaching. And it was like... <laughs> Part of, his a whole, statement. part of his whole philosophy, really. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on the show again. <laughs> it was a pleasure. It was a... I'm going to give shorter answers from now on in case the conversation is being traced. <laughs> okay. All right. So ask, ask me if I know what time it is. Do you know what time it is? No. <laughs> I think we're okay. No one's going to trace that. I think we're in good shape. Uh, How are you doing? Do I'm you doing know? real good. Good. Yeah, because everything's fine. That's good, because you're always having one-sided conversations. In what way, one-sided? How do you mean? You're doing it again, see? <laughs> How? So How am I having like, one-sided you know, conversations? You never really say anything. I mean. No, I ask. I never say anything about myself. Right. Well, tonight I revealed that uh, my face will be paralyzed uh, next week. But that's very rare for me to, to talk about myself. Usually I, I, I ask and ask. It's my job to service uh, the guest in any way possible. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> uh, I understand uh, someone said that you have an album coming out. Is that right? I have an album. Uh... You're here to plug an album, someone told me. It's not here. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's not my album. Oh, oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, uh -huh. there's the album. This is, uh, 
Fish's album. You're plugging Fish's album? Fish has a new album out. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's, it's an excellent album. I think you should maybe try listening to this. See, what happened was my manager, uh -huh. who, who just got out of prison, he, uh, <laughs> he said, I want you to go out and promote an album. And I said, I don't have an album. I haven't ever made an album in years. And he said, damn it, go promote an album. <laughs> so you're out promoting someone else's album. Exactly. And how's it going? Excellent. <laughs> how's the album selling? Very nice. It's good. The songs are much longer than mine, but... <laughs> They'd almost have to be. Can you hang on one second? We're going to do a commercial break. Absolutely. And when we come back, uh, I'm going to ask you some more one-sided questions. Thank you. It'll freak you out. You going to be all right? Yeah. All right, stop crying. Well, we'll have more with Stephen Wright in just a moment. Stick around. <laughs> Uh, you're from my uh, from my hometown of Boston. How are you enjoying New York? I you like. I think everyone's so relaxed here. Mm -hmm. uh, I was walking through Central Park, and mm -hmm. there must have been a fire or something. But people were walking by, just casually going, "Smoke, smoke." <laughs> <laughs> they're very thinking, calm oh, about this that here. Is amazing. <laughs> In Boston, there'd be trucks and people running all around. <laughs> You know, you're, you, you work a lot. You work, uh, you work constantly. But what do you do when you're not performing? I try to... Uh, lately, I'm getting into very vigorous physical activity. I've been uh, doing a lot of... Uh, well, I've skied twice. I've skied once in New Hampshire and once in the 86 Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> and uh -huh. I, enjoy, I enjoy both of them very much. And I've been doing an exercise bike, you know, getting the endorphin thing. Like, I, I do about an hour and 22 minutes at, at a time. Wow. And I time it, like, before I do a performance so that I have that endorphin rush going. Like, right now, I don't know if you can see it. No, you're like I, a... I'm, I'm wired. <laughs> like a maniac it's, it's out amazing. here tonight. Yeah. It's fantastic. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, uh, what else? Let's see. My sister... <laughs> My sister. sister had a baby, and oh, no, one, no one's ever had a baby in my family other than my, like, my mother and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's amazing, a baby, I've never been around a little baby. They seem so helpless, just little tiny. And when I hear the baby crying, at first I get distracted because I think it's my subconscious. <laughs> and I, oh no, I can see into the future. Uh -huh. Oh no. Uh -huh. uh, that's good. You know. <laughs> Fish has a new album. And, you're plugging that album away, yeah. huh? That's going well. Are you seeing anyone? Any romance in your life? I'm seeing a girl I've been seeing in about a year. That elf that I met. That I met. She's not really an elf. She's about four, eight. She's about four, nine. And I met her in Amsterdam. She's a strumpet. strumpet. <laughs> you met her, I think, at that party. I, I did. I that did meet her. I thought it was a party, and it turned out it was an arrest. Right. Exactly. And, uh, <laughs> She's a she's trumpet, and uh, I, I met her in Amsterdam. She's a sexy girl. She speaks German, and it really turns me on when I ask her to say the number 25 in German. She'll just stand on a table with a four-foot girl, and she'll just look at me and go, Funzen, Swanzen. Funzen. Oh, man. It's really... It's, That's working on me right now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, that's Very something. Very sexy uh -huh. girl. Much better than the other woman I was seeing years ago. Do you remember her? I remember her. <laughs> yeah. Tell him about her. Well, yeah. she was a very controlling woman. I met her at a... She was a seamstress at a straitjacket company. <laughs> And I, I had met her because I went there because I knew eventually I was going to be put away in an insane asylum. I wanted to have a uh, straight jacket made, tailor made, because I didn't want anything off the rack. No, you no, know? you don't. So then I met her, but she was very controlling. She was like, I couldn't do it. I, you know, it might have been all in my head, but I don't think so because well, I have no game. Well, wait, going well, well on. How, how was she controlling? Well, like one night, the, what the final straw, straw was, we were having dinner and she said, pass. Can you, can you pass the salt? And I said, that's it. <laughs> I am out of here. out of here. I don't need that. Oh, my so, God. <laughs> so the strumpet elf is working out. 
I'm exercising and I start going on the road and I had a, a everything's fabulous and thank you for having me on and the people, television and, show. And people and people really should check out Fish's new nice album. Nice to see. Right? Good to see you. Steve. And uh, you're going to be uh, in uh, this is in in Red Wing, Minnesota. Is really? Right? Yeah. I'm putting. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm sending you there. Fine. This is the power I have. When I'm done with guests, you I book them deliver, someplace. You're delivering packages. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna. I want you to deliver a package to Red Wing, Minnesota, on January 28th. That's where uh, Stephen Wright's going to be. Thank so do you. a good job and you can come Thank back. You. All right. Stephen Wright, everybody. <laughs> Rebecca Romaine and Junior Brown are coming up. We'll be right back.